Now to join the race squad it's really simple. All you have to do is tap on that subscribe button and when that is, don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be alarmed anytime I upload a video. As you can see, I'm so excited, I'm smiling too much. But <laughs> someone requested for me to give you guys a recipe, yeah, omena, how I cook my omena. Now I have six ways of how I cook my omena. So I guess it's a video come as it omena. But today we start with one here and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome to the Re Squad. Okay guys, welcome back and I'll just take you through the ingredients. Come forward, my people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the main dish, which is omena, and then I have onions here. I have garlic. I have tomatoes. I love kuna mafuta, which is very essential, and some salt. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just going to start by kudara um, omena mm -hmm. <laughs> To dara. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to remove the unwanted particles in my omena. I am the one the way you see tonight I could narrow omena as what I can wait to the unwanted particles. If you come like I know it through that process, I know you're not here for that, so I'll just speed that up. So this is an example of unwanted particles. This is another example of unwanted particles. A couple of minutes later, guys, I'm done. And so this is my omena. Nicely chambuad. I love even no chapuz in any one chapu. Like this is a very necessary process, guys. So from here, uh, we get to the cooking. But before that, you have to prepare the ingredients. So yeah, so let's get to the ingredients. Hola, money for <laughs> I've used one large onion and a half because I learned from Diana Bahati that a lot of onions make the food sweeter. I may test your story and I think you will win it. So, to me, onions. There's a key Next, I'm going to cook with low heat. I'm going to add a little and then I'm cooking oil. So while that is happening, I'm just going to prep my tomatoes.
point uh my oil in may, in may heat and now something i need to address this is the point where you're supposed to wash your omena but as you guys can see your omena ni baridi so if you decide to wash it utaribu like dini how 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 can i call this itabunjika <laughs> bunjika so me i really believe in uh, the power of heat I believe in the power of heat so long as we may cook food it it very much edible So another tip for cooking omena if I cook mbali and then you use very low heat like low low heat ndio zote ziive poa and then you keep on turning that makes sense Yes, honey, it makes sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, like even now, just the way you you normally boil your meat with salt. So the goal is just to let it uh, turn brown, like brownish. Ni watu mnazua ukifry kitu in a tan brown and crunchy so that's the goal here trust me you'll know when it's ready so you just continue doing this until you achieve the the brown or the crunchy uh, that <laughs> the crunchiness that you are looking for a few moments later So I've started achieving the dark brown. So at this point I'm just going to put my onions. Oh, the aroma inside here. The best thing that has ever happened to you. Will you skip la kwa lisema? But the lane no mena ni kiwanja. That was so legit. Wow. Hello. 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 You need patience with this. Usipike omena kama uko na haraka my dear ladies. Oh hello man. <laughs> Do not cook your omena when you are in a rush or hurry. This needs time, patience and love. So nenda kwa garlic yangu sai. Zi brown pamoja with everything. Guys, just look at that. Just look at that. Woo! Look at the accident. So at this point, I'll just add my onion. Yay! And just give the tomatoes some time to cook. Hey. Hey. Guys, yeah, this is what's up. 
And that's basically it. Come on, you know what? a hoho dania. You can totally do that. If you're a spice person, oh baby, I'm shooting. <laughs> if you're a spice person, dear, work a spice yako when you're not But at this point, this is all from my side. So I'm just going to cook some ugali. Alafu ni wa onyeshe later. chakula inasaviwa na ugali heke yake. Huo ni lena Tanzania tukasavua omena na rice. Yeah. <laughs> that was so weird but yo ilikuwa inaenda na somehow. But as we know it goes well so well with ugali. So yes. This is it guys. Tuko na njama za tuni tutukule. <laughs> so tuko na mwonjaji leo. <laughs> Kabutu wambi yuko waje Kwa wadu ukweli Ok, kwila, kwila Okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you haven't subscribed guys, please do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video and let me know in the comment section what you think about this recipe. It's the simplest, I promise. It's very simple. Yeah, so that's it guys. Don't forget to be kind to people, spread the love and happiness. And we make this world a better place. So till next time, guys. Bye.